terrible golf shot. Tenth hole then. A nice little right to left dog leg up the hill, potentially drivable today, and wind slightly into off the right, so maybe that will mean no. So I'm going straight at the flag. A whack has been applied. It's a bit right of the flag. Should be fine. Nothing too sinister over there, I wouldn't think. Hey golfers, I'm back to show you what delicious scratch golf looks like today, or what I'm hoping is good. I'm trying to break par at Halifax Golf Course. Don't want to spoil it, so I'll link the front nine in the top right of screen. Just teed off on the 10th then, I should be greenside just right of the hole. So I'm actually level par having hold nothing on the front nine. And with my whole cask arms, I've gone long of pin high here. I say that in jest as I've got spaghetti arms. It's not stopped. Finally. Right, it's an uphill putt, and that's all I'm going to say about it. <laughs> what am I supposed to do from there, land it up here? Deary me. Well, let's be honest, guys. It's not perfect, but I could be at home working, so every cloud has a silver lining. This for birdie, no idea how hard to hit it, but it's fairly straight. I think. Well, we'll soon see, anyway. Uh, that's actually quite good. I'll take that. Difficult pin location, if you could call it that. But tap in par, and we'll move on, and we're still level par. Which is pretty good. Got every chance of breaking 70. Alrighty then. 11th hole, don't know why I just turned into Ace Ventura. That's behind me. Longish par four. Just gonna thrape driver as far as I can down there. And then go and do something from there. Yeah. I'm pretty sure all but one of the holes I've played have been into the wind today. And this is no different. I'm just gonna aim up the left. Into off the left wind, so that's gonna push it back. I don't need to pound this because I think I might run out of fairway. Nice smooth action. It's just going to land in the fairway on the left and just dribble down there into an ideal position. Or so I think anyway. Happy with that. Now, although it is frustrating that there's a few temporary pins here today, and in all honesty, I probably wouldn't have paid 20 sniffs to come here if had I known that. But it gives me an opportunity to make some birdies with shortened holes. So I'm going to take that in stride. It says I've got 90 yards. Doubtful. I'm going to go with 43, which is a guess based on my watch. Just going to land it on the hill short of the flag. driven it in low accidentally and I just drifted it past that bit but it's a makeable putt or at least I hope it is okay well bold claim incoming if I don't hold this I'll do 10 press-ups not because I'm strong but just because I'm trying to get in shape on my journey to scratch golf although I should have said that before looking at how much right to left is on this and I don't know if I'm actually on the green. Oh well. Turn in. Well, a lot of turn. Quite you. But I overhit it somehow, which I'm surprised at. And without further ado, I give you 10 press ups on a down slope, which will make it harder. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's a good job it's a par three next because I won't be able to get it off the tee. That is some view down there. Definitely the highlight of the course is how you can see all of that. Beautiful. Yorkshire at its very best. 
back to the golf. I've got a par four apparently, which is 183 yards. Pin looks like it's at the front. It says it's playing 169. Not sure if I trust that or not. I suppose I'll have to. I have an eight iron, but it's a complete guess. Pin looks to be on the right, so I'm aiming 15 feet left of it. Wind is going to help me push it back. Except I've hit a pull draw. That's really going to test me from up there. Oh, wow, what a bounce that is. Somehow go in the hole now. That is quite ridiculous. I mean, I don't know what's happened to it, but it bounced straight right and kept going right. It appears I've got myself a wild case of the Tugatha Christie's. However, it's nearly made it to the front and I could put this, but where's the fun in that? I'm attempting to show off my short game skills by holing it with my TaylorMade MG2 sand wedge, which is probably fourth choice from here. Never looked like going in, but should be able to tap in with wedge, which is always a dangerous prospect. Not this time, though. Another par. Right, well, finally a par five, and it's a good one. Don't want to get swept up with the views. It's downwind. 470 yards, so not the longest. Just rip a goo up the left with driver. Struck it beautifully, it's just leaking towards the right edge. Didn't quite see it down, but I suspect I'm on the right side of the fairway and I will take that all day long. Good grief, that's pretty brutal. Took me a while to find it, even though I'm fairway bound. Right, here we go. It's 175 to the pin, slightly downwind. So I'm just hitting a nice smooth 7-iron. This is about a 165 club. Aiming just left of the flag again. That's a horrendous golf shot. I've thinned it out to the right. And I'm not taking advantage of the par 5 with that one. Well, it's not easy. But I'm going to try and forget what just transpired there, having biffed my tee shot 300 yards. We're just short right of the green. Not an easy shot, so I need to get it going upstairs, landing soft. And give ourselves a tap-in birdie would be ideal. All feel this. And I love these shots. Spin right. Well, it kind of did. Yeah, it's not terrible. About 10 feet. Uphill and straight. What more could one ask for? Ooh, it just wiggled right on me. Good putt, though. One of the first that really looked like it had a chance of going in, if I'm honest. It's a disappointing par, but it's still a par nonetheless. And we'll stay level par for the round. Okey kirky. There's never been a hole in one on the channel, but that's about to change. I'm going to manifest something incredible. I'm going to aim at the gate behind the green. It's just a nice smooth eight iron. Nice looking par three, this. That's not going to be a hole in one unless there's divine intervention. Well, I think I'm on the next tee, which I suppose has just saved me a bit of a walk. Ah, dear, oh dear. Guys, I'm afraid I'm a massive hypocrite. This is such a bad shot. I've really short-sided myself. The only saving grace is that it's soft. So I should be able to land it up here somewhere with a bit of height. Now, let's not do what Paul did a few weeks back and leave my chip short.
well it could have been a lot worse however I've got work to do for par it's 12 feet left to right nice to see something go today zero feet of putts hold until now stay up always look low well that's a bogey all down to the tee shot in the end what a shame there's a par five next though so we'll make it up there come on i know what you're thinking golfers i'm an imbecile you should not be missing on that side of the green but alas it happens in golf i didn't mean to do it now we have a par five downhill and downwind Let's get after it. That's a dirty looking cloud in the distance. Thankfully, it's missed me. I'm going to take a bit of anger out on this tee ball, I think. Slightly longer than the last par five. It's still downhill, downwind. Just fading it back to that marker post. Got the whole world on this hole, so no reason to hold back. Pulled it. I've got the whole world and I might have missed it. Oh dear. It's only about three yards left of the semi rough, but that could be disastrous. I'm happy to report I've found it. And it's not too bad when you consider preferred lies. Although there's some liquid sunshine now coming to say hello. Might be able to get this to the green. Wouldn't always advise this from the thick rough, but the lie's good. I've got four iron. I'm going for it. It's about two tenths of the flag. <clears throat> so I may come up short. But somewhere near would be nice. Oh, it's a pretty good shot, but I towed it a bit. It's going to be short right. That's okay. Chip and a putt. Ideally, I'm not overly equipped for this rain, don't have any waterproofs. There is a nice rainbow though. Hopefully, with this, you get to see me hit a ball with a bit of check. Just want to land it on the green, let it release to the hole. Putt was right on line, just lacked a tiny bit of pace. But I should be able to knock this in. Four feet, tiny bit of left to right based on what I saw before. Go through the routine like normal. Yep. Yep. Left edge. Beautiful. Didn't play the hole great, but I still come off with a birdie. And well, take it. Oh no. Uh, saw these earlier, I don't know if you can see it, that's a massive hailstone. Wow. Well this wasn't in the forecast, um, we've got massive golf ball sized hailstones. So after this brief intermission I'm going to play the 16th, a 360 yard par 4, and we'll level par again, so one birdie needed to break 70. Come on, we can do this and not drown. <laughs> that was mental there's an absolutely massive clap of thunder in the background which terrorized me anyway focus sweeping hole need to aim this up the right hand side i need to stop trying to hit this so hard and just place it out there a bit more Ah yes, the Johnny Plays Golf Pull Fade. I can't see it down because it's straight into the sun, but it's pretty good. Probably just ran down to the left centre of the fairway, but I'll take it. Mild panic hearing thunder in the background, but I've hit a good tee shot. Just a nice smooth sand wedge here, I think will do the job. 86 middle, so just under a full one. I've Scotty Sheffled it and I've pulled it way left and way long. Might have got a duff yardage there, but that doesn't matter. 
We'll just go collect that mile long beaver tail I've created. That was nothing short of horrendous. I'm long left and now have to chip over my golf bag because that's the only way I can see where I'm going or a bit left of it. I should never have been in that position in the first place, but I've managed to get out of jail. Or I will be out of jail if this goes in. Phew! The dream is alive. Still a birdie required though. This hole is absolutely nuts. It's 165 playing 129. You can't even see the flag because it's on the right side, but it's so far downhill, the ball's going to be in the air forever. So I'm just going to hit wedge at the flag and just pray. Nice strike. Needs a bounce left. Uh, it didn't get it. Wasn't far off for distance. Well, I've left myself a devilish shot. Everything's running away from me. Need to acquire some hands here. This needs to land like a butterfly with sore feet, just short right of the hole. Just like that, go in. Ooh, baby, I love the way you chip. Can't be bothered to go for the putter. Dangerous times. That's quite a good par in the end after all that. What a hole. Okay guys, last hole of the video. I need a birdie to break 70 and a par to shoot 70, I believe. It's not really the hole to do it. It's a 415 yard par four. It sweeps around to the left, but angles right. So it's a bit of a challenge. Well, quite simply, we just need a good drive. Aiming at the left edge of the house in the distance and wailing on it. That's not at that house in the distance. Oh no, that's a terrible golf shot. That's absolutely smashed into that tree and Lord knows what's over there. Chance could be gone, I'm afraid. Well, this is what we're faced with. Pin is just over the brow of the hill, but it's not pretty. I've done well to find it. Unfortunately, on the left side, I've shortened the hole considerably. But even with preferred lies, I still can't get into a decent spot. So it's hack and hope. I'm just chopping an a iron as hard as I can about, or well, straight at that pole in the distance left of the pin. I'm not even sure if this will get there, but it's all I've got. Oh, I need a bounce right. I've done well. It has sort of bounced to the right, but I think I'm left of the green and up and down or chipping is needed. Yet yeah, more wizardry required. This is going to be incredible if I can do this. Um, it's more or less hit and hope at this stage. This is not a nice putt, but surely something's going to drop today. Downhill, left to right, but it just has to go in, so there is no choice really. Wow, that was a lot of break. Not to be today. So finishing with a bogey, not unduly deserved really. Thank you ever so much for watching. I've shot 71, which is one over. See you next time. Goodbye.